you want to do this, huh? A pixel level animation with no prior experience. Are you serious right now? All right, here's what you need. Get yourself a blender. Download link in the description. Get yourself this funny character model that I found one day. Download link in the description. Install blender, launch blender, go file, open, and find the character, then open it. And here he is in his <laughs> full <laughs> glory! Look at him, how beautiful he is! Press the mouse wheel to rotate the view around. Shift and mouse wheel to pan the view around. Scroll your mouse wheel to zoom, of course. And if your numlock is in the right state, your numpad keys 1, 3 and 7 will change the perspective. 1 being front, 3 being from the right and 7 being from the top. Also pressing 9 does you a full 180. Zero would jump your view to the nearest camera, but there is no cameras in this scene, so it does nothing. Now that you know how to move around, let's go to the animation tab. And everything is scary now, but we'll figure it out. As you can see there are three timelines now around the character, and they are all the same. It's the same timeline three times. And to move around in a timeline, just press the middle mouse button and move around. Now, in this section, find the collection 11 and enable it with the eye icon. What's up here? This is a spooky skeleton that you can use to control the body like a puppet. Also make sure you're in pose mode. Now, you can select any of these bones either with your right or left mouse button, depending on your settings. Press G to grab it and move it around with your mouse. Left click confirms and right click cancels. Pressing R lets you rotate a thing, and pressing S lets you scale it. Ctrl Z reverts the changes you've made. Knowing all that, you can already pose this guy whatever way you like. And animation is just a sequence of poses, so let's go and animate. To animate we'll need a timeline. Our timeline is 40 frames long, and we can move around it by clicking the left mouse button and dragging around a blue marker. Let's put it at the very beginning of our timeline and then press A to select all the bones. Now press I to insert a keyframe for every bone selected and select the option Lock Rot Scale, which means location, rotation and scale of those bones. Doing that made dots appear in the timeline. Those dots are key poses of those bones. By the way, here's where you change the frame rate. Now, Further animation is just a question of picking your bones, changing the place in the timeline, posing your bones, inserting the keyframe, and so on. You can select a keyframe of your select button and then press Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it somewhere else. You can play and pause your animation with space. If you want something to move only on one axis, press the corresponding key. So for example, if you want something to move only on Y axis, press Y, and it won't move on any other axis. You can also press Shift Z to make it move on every axis but not Z. You can press B to box select any amount of keyframes and then copy and paste it somewhere else. Also you can press A to select all the keyframes and double tap A to unselect them all. And just like that we've achieved this very ridiculous walking cycle. Well at least I did, you may still be confused, I don't know. And so ends our animation tutorial. If you want to export the movie, well, that's topic for another video. And maybe I'll do it every maybe not. Thanks for watching. Some of a girl and guy With up the swelling sky But there's only you and I And we've got no shot This could never be You're not the type for me And there's not a spark inside But I Waste of lovely night